Hi, I'm Cami LeRae with M3 Planning, and today we're going to talk a little bit about customer experience programs like the Net Promoter Score. And one of the major hurdles organizations seem to have is actually using the information. It's extremely important. So let's get into the Net Promoter Score as an example in the business to business realm. If someone scores your company low on the Net Promoter Score, the zero to six realm, what they're saying is they are not likely to recommend you to their friends or family. So that should pose some kind of an alert for your management. So what we do in our NPS programs is that we have recovery alerts that go directly to the manager who has the power to positively impact that customer's experience. So the important thing about the recovery notices is it gets to them. So email it, text it, do what you have to do. They've got to be timely, so within a few days, a week, two weeks might even be pushing it and make sure you come to a fair resolution for that customer. People know that you can't solve everything and they know when you're being fair. So um, come to a fair resolution and you'll find that that works wonders for the relationship. So also make sure that your surveys are sent with a frequency to your customer base that is reoccurring because remember, what you are developing is a customer experience metric that over time should be able to let you know when you are providing better customer service. So you want to make sure that it is a reoccurring survey that goes out and that it's relationship based. We're in the business to business realm for this example, so we want it relationship based. We don't want it transactional, so make it according to a site visit or to a fulfillment of a major contract element. Or even an invoice will matter if, that, uh, if that's the way that you best interact with your customer. Um, also, the reporting. We do not develop NPS programs without a dashboard. It's really important to have your information come, be automatically reported back to the organization optimally in real time. So you can go ahead and have that information pushed out. You don't have to worry, wait for analysis or distributions. It falls right in the hands of the manager that needs to be able to know about what the customer experience is. Also, we do custom reports for managers according to their domain of influence. So for Nevada managers, we might format a report a certain way. The point is, is it needs to be relevant because you want it to work in staff meetings. You want it to work in your management meetings. Um, you also want it to be something that you can consider for your strategic reviews, quarterly, annually, however you have it done. But remember, when customers give you their time and their opinion, they're giving you a gift. So it's really important to make sure that you have the tools that you need to promptly and, and best respond to them.